Howdy, this is Herb, and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to uh, show uh, the way I found to put a, a groove in the end of my uh, valves for the uh, 15cc internal combustion engine, and uh, sort of unique the way I did it, so here we go. Howdy, it's Herb again. Uh, we have a little valve here, and we need to uh, put a, uh, a little groove in the in the bottom. I don't know how well you can see that, uh, but right up here, it's for an E-ring to hold the spring in tension. So. Uh, you know, how do you hold this? Well, I figured out a way and using a ER32 collet system and uh, I put the valve in in reverse. In other words, it goes in like that and just the tip of it is sticking out here as you can see. Just the, uh, just the tip of the valve. So, we'll put that in the uh, Chuck and uh, what I have here is a uh, ER32 and it's on an MT3 uh, taper and my lathe is MT5 so I have an adapter in there to uh, take care of that and if I can find my wrench here we will tighten this baby up Okay, and to make the groove, I'm going to use a hacksaw because it's real difficult to get a tool up that close and uh, needs to be a very narrow curve, so the hacksaw is just the thing for the job. Let me speed it up here a bit. Doesn't take much. That's that's it right there. <coughs> Got a groove that's probably about twenty thousandths deep. But that uh, the little uh, eclipse I got worked fine with that. So that was my uh, solution to a grooving problem. Thanks for watching. 